So the air, the ground. This is all wrong. Well, the good news is that none of us are dying actively. I'd heard stories about the Soul Cairn, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far, it's about what I imagined. It feels wrong. Well, it doesn't look particularly friendly either. Okay. I have pers- It's ashy underfoot. Ugh, the smell here. Let's try to handle this quickly. Right. Where- The air, the ground. This is all wrong. Are you sure Valyrica has an Elder Scroll? Before we get too far into this place? No. But there's no way she would have left it in Tamriel. She wanted to get it as far away from my father as possible. I can't imagine a better place. I can. If only aesthetically. Right, and if she doesn't? Then we find out where she hid it. If she's still alive. Well, as alive as she was before. Or as now. Or... You know what I mean. Right. So... Why not hide it in the Soul Cairn and then return? Probably to avoid whatever my father would do to her if he could get his hands on her. Or maybe her plan was to come back, but she was stuck here. We won't know until we find her. It's all fair enough. Right. Okay, we continue. Alright. I... Gods, this place feels... Haunted. That's a very specific feeling. I agree. Though I'm not sure how you... Define it. Right. What is that that I'm hearing? I'm not sure. Some sort of... Spirit wisp. Or something. Where'd you come from? Hello? Undead. Oh. You know, I... That'll teach you. I, I should probably have done this sooner. Done what? Oh, one of the spells that... The dead who end up here for eternity. Seems awful. Like they're still suffering. Indeed. Right. The... Actually, I want to do it like this. Let's keep moving. There. Like we're being watched. I have to say I agree with you. I feel like I'm hearing voices. You aren't the only one. There are spirits around here, just... lingering. Great. Wonderful. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Uh... Huh. Sorry, sir. Um... Who's Arvac? Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Right. How can we help? Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! Well... He did say that a place like this could change you. Indeed. So we're supposed to find a horse in the Soul Cairn. 
I... Great. Do you hear that? That strange mumbling? I do. And I don't like it. And frankly, I think that... We can't really afford to get distracted here. We're looking for Valyrica. Right. Huh! I heard that. Well, it was a horse. Oh! Where'd it go? Um... I don't know. Uh, hello? Gods, this place is... Unsettling. What is that? I'm I'm hearing explosions. I'm not sure. Lightning, I think. Ah, oh, great. Soul storms. <laughs> we'll go with that. Where did that horse go? I don't know. I don't see it. I do see something over to your left, though. A pile of bones with something sticking out of it. Ah, uh, spikes of some sort. I think they might be dragon claws. Wonderful. Okay, we keep going. The air, the ground. This is all wrong. In gods. What? Um. Well, I just looked up. And? Well, be glad you can't. I'd heard stories about the Soul Cairn, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far, it's about what I imagined. I don't like any of this. Well, that makes three of us, it seems. Oh, it's the horse again. Oh. Where and did you come from? Hello. Oh, careful. Is there more? Yes. There's another one down here. Got him. Done and done. All right. Well. That spell is quite handy. It is. Where did that horse run off to? It looked like he was heading sort of behind where you're facing. Okay, do we chase him? Eh, might as well. The good news is, I suppose, that the thunder echoes on things. I can sort of... Oh, I don't like the voices. There's something going on over to your left, sort of. There you are. Okay. I'm not sure what. Hello? Oh, and the lightning hits that close. So what was going on? A farmer and cows. Here. Of all places. He's farming some sort of odd fungus, maybe. I will leave that to the expert in the matter? Huh. 
interesting. From the feel alone, I can't tell if they remind me more of beehives or coral. Like the city in Cyrodiil? No, coral. Like the... The plant. The, it's not a plant, it's a... The air, the ground... This is all wrong. The comet in Somerset. Oh, corals. Right. Oh, gods, where are we going? Who's there? Good question. A oh, man with a bow. Ow. Oh. Done and done. When you said we'd be weakened here. Things hurt more. They do. There's some sort of... There is something going on right in front of you. Keep that spell, Andy. I will. Hello? To your left. Where'd you come from? Oh. Oh, gods. Devil. Right. Did we get all of them? Oh, dear. I have to say, I don't like the idea of going around this place without my stick. I feel terrible for the dead who end up here for eternity. Seems awful. Like they're still suffering. Well, we're with them now. Um... A skull... That... That is a horse skull. I didn't know they were that big. It's deceptive. Indeed. I think his master's just wandered off in front of you. Okay. Oh, that was close. Oh dear. Uh, hello? Arvac's master person. Arvac! You saved him! His soul is free, I can feel it! He's such a loyal beast. Here, I'll teach you how to call him to you. Oh. He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. Such a good horse. Thank you? Think? Well, he's gone. Do you know how to summon Arvac? Um... Probably. I admit I'm not much of a conjurer, but I can give it my best shot. So that was the horse we saw. Oh, hello. Whoa. Hello? A flaming horse. Oh, that's potentially... useful, I think? Who's there? I don't know. I don't either, but this place feels... dangerous. Uh-huh. Myth? Back here. I know you're here somewhere. I'm going to just follow you, I think. Right. I have no idea what spooked him, but Arvac is... He's a bit unsettled by something. What a soul horse can be unsettled by is beyond me. Right, well, let's continue. Meet, meet you? Is he alright? Uh... He unsummoned himself. Aha! Good. Right. Now what? Now... I think we turn around and head toward... Well, there's a big keep in the distance. Oh. I don't know what I've stepped on, but that feels... Tangled bush? Feels bad. 
Right, so this place is just as treacherous as... most of... everywhere else. I thought I just heard Serana in distress. Right. Well, just keep going sort of uphill. Okay, that I can do. Oh dear, I don't like this place. Okay, now turn to your left a little bit. More? Good. So you can get around this place without your... spear? Ah, mostly, yes. I suppose so. Although it does help to have a... a feel for the ground, you know? Like I can sort of tell what that is. Whatever that was. Tree. You can call them trees. Oh, what's up here? A uh, keep thing. That makes sense. Mother? Mother. And a barrier. It can't be. Serana? Is oh. it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't- You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. No. We didn't come here to hunt you down, we want to keep her safe. Coming from one who murders vampires as a trade, I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. That's exactly why we're here. We're here for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Well... Interesting. The dragon being... Oreo? Akatosh? Akatosh, right? That's that's how the Nords do that. I think so. Right. How does Serana fit into all this? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Right, and... Serana underwent this ritual willingly? Find that hard to believe. It was expected of her, just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. Right. Of course. And the tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood? Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. So you're saying Harkon means to kill her? If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, 
the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. We would never allow that to happen. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? Well, we're going to need your help one way or another. Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. And what's Serana's opinion on all this? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. You offered up your own daughter to Molog Ball, and you don't call that monstrous? And don't you dare try to tell me that she went through that willingly. I know what it's like in families like yours, Valyrica. It's poisonous. Do this for Serana if you care about her at all. Serana? This stranger aligns herself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to her. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's... changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Oh, Serana. If you'd only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see- I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. How much more clear can I possibly make my intention to help this poor girl? Soxie's breath. Do you have the Elder Scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. Right. I'm still a bit unclear as to your intentions, but what do we need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. Right. We'll be back soon. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Thank you for the warning. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. I intend to. Am I missing anything? Can I make myself even more clear? Actions do tend to speak louder than words. Shall we? Of course. Gods. Right. Tall rocky spires, because I can... make those out from here? Blinding eyes of dragons and whatnot? Serana? Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. That was... A lot. How are you feeling? Relieved, I think. 
All those things have been building for a while. You have no idea how long I wanted to say that to her. Oh no, I have... some idea. Why did you agree to her plan? Although it sounded like she didn't give you much of a, ch a choice in the matter. Sorry. Look, I loved my father, but when he found that prophecy, that became his life. Everything else, even me and my mother, we just became clutter. I was close with my mother, but she just kept feeding me her opinions of him, and eventually I started believing them. It sounds... This may be projection on my part, but it sounds like you already didn't like him much. Like I said, we were never very close. Not a lot of father-daughter bonding, if you know what I mean. But once we threw our lot in with Molag Ball, people just don't think about their families anymore. Power takes precedence, he always said. Ah, that sounds uncannily familiar. And you were caught in the middle. I was. Honestly, it took me up until now to figure out that my mother was really just as bad as he was. He was obsessed with power. She was obsessed with seeing him fail. It was just so... toxic. Maybe I could have seen this coming. We could all be better off now. Well... Whatever happens, don't blame yourself, alright? I know that in my head, but I just can't help feeling bad about... the way things are. Sorry, I know you're trying to help. Thanks. Anyway, we should keep moving. Right. So I think I've spotted one of the towers. I can't believe we found my mother alive. Well, you know what I mean. I do. Which way? Straight ahead. Oh, well that's... makes that easy. So you've never really... said it. But I assume that you were born to a Thalmor family. I was. And I was expected to hold up their codes and their appearances and all of that. I was expected to settle down and find... Gods, this is uneven. Find a good husband. Carry on. The everything. Ugh. And of course, what blasphemy for one of their own! Hello. Let's just keep moving. Alright. One of their own to be very, very, very curious about how the rest of the world works. And of course, smart. Those two things in combination are not something that the Thalmor really want to see. Because it means I question things. And of course I question everything. Including... Are we really the greatest people on Tamriel? And I've come to the conclusion that the answer is no. Or if we are, we need to prove it and not just... Where are we going? Um... About that way, yes. Great. Keep your spells out also. Okay. Doing this without the weapons. Don't like that? That's... Terrifying. What? What is it? A thing in armor with a shadow for a face. Hmm. That is sort of how I picture you, actually. Thank you. Where do you come from? Nice. <laughs> that works. I can hear you hammering on it with your dagger or whatever. Thank you for not charging in, by the way. 
Oh. You know what? Now that I've been here... I don't think I can stand carrying around soul gems. Indeed. Let's just be on our way then, shall we? Agreed. That seems to work fairly well, actually. I stand back and cast and you do the, uh... Yeah, close work. Right, where's the next one? That is somewhat complicated, but I th think we're headed in the right direction. Huh. <sighs> I think Serana isn't the only one who needed to get s some family issues off her chest. Indeed. Uh, we have company ahead. What kind? Kind with a bow, it would seem. Who's there? Oh. Okay. Done and done. That works. You dodged an arrow. Uh, did I? I got hit by an arrow. Is there another one over here? Maybe not. That's rather impressive. Where'd you come from? Oh, uh, there's some bastard up here through the bars. I don't think I can get through there. I might be able to. Maybe. Am I hitting him? Potentially. What is this thing? I'm not sure I want to find out. Sounds like I got him. You did. Well done. Uh, we were headed this way, I think. You don't talk about your family much, Myth. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I did say that I didn't want to talk about home. But it seems. We've been talking about it anyway, so... So do I get to hear about your parents? I'd rather not. I suppose that's fair enough. Don't sound too disappointed. I'm... <laughs> trying to make up for the fact that this place is absolutely terrifying, I think. Are we still headed in the right direction? Seems like it. Great. All you really need to know about my family is that my father Where'd did his best from? and my mother was out of her mind. Done and done. There's another one. Got him? Uh Who's there? Oh. That'll teach you. There we are. There's also one of those keepers over here. So spells out. Where? I could have sworn I saw him. He's around to the left. Oh, there he is. In front of you. All right. We just charge in then. Where'd you come from? Did I hit him? Oh, I hear him now. Done and done. Gods, things really do hurt more. You alright? Uh, more or less. Thank you. Don't try that on Serana. Oh, you know, that's a good point. 
I imagine... Healing spells versus vampires doesn't really work. Right, where's the last one? Well, you've turned toward it. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how we're going to get up there. What do you mean? It's floating. Hmm, wonderful. Where'd you come from? Hello. Oh. Huh, they're still alive and standing close enough I can hear their bones rattling. Wonderful. I can't believe I lost those pages. A Dunmer. Oh, so that's not just a you thing. Um, no. Damn it, how could I be so foolish? Wow. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what do you want? Uh, what exactly are you doing? How does anyone expect me to write my opus with all of these rude interruptions? Fair enough. Have a nice day. Good riddance. I oh. wonder how many copies I sell. Hundreds? Thousands? I'll hire the finest bookbinder I can find. I think... We may have just met St. Jib. I... I have no idea who that is. You know, that's... that's fine. So... So it turns out you don't actually sound quite as... I don't know what that... that quality of voice is. Growly? Ash crusted, maybe? Indeed. Well, you sort of sounded like it there, but... No, I'm rather mild, actually, as far as Dunma go. It's sort of fallen out of style over the eons. What do you mean, fallen out of style? Who's there? I knew I heard something. <laughs> ah! Oh! All oh, that one hurt. Oh, gods. Over here. Hello? Stay back. Done and done. There we are. Who's there? Samba. That'll work. Now teach you. <laughs> when in doubt, just sweep the beam, I suppose. You know what the veterans call that? What? Spray and bray. <laughs> I like it. Um. Now what? Oh, well, there's a... a thing here. Okay. I don't like the feel of this. What is it? One way to find out. Uh... Right. Oh god, so oh god, so oh god, I'm going to be sick. Ugh. Myth, Serana? We're here. Oh gods. Never mind. You're not the only one. Right. Let's just be done with this, shall we? Uh huh. And stick close to the wall if you can. Alright. Why? I'll tell you later. Okay. Fair enough. Sticking close to the wall. Who's there? Uh, who is there? Uh. Oh. That's a keeper. Uh. Oh. Ow. Yes, it is. 
going to need this too. That's the wrong spell. Hello? I'm going to just hope. Oh, Godsmith? Here I am. Sorry. Uh, you seem nervous. Well, we are very, very high up in the air. The barrier should be gone now. Let's head back. Yes, one question. How? Oh, there's a thing there. Right, head for the thing. The... Just walk forward. Oh, oh this thing. Uh. Oh, I don't like that at all. Miss? Serana? We're over here. There you are. Oh, gods. I didn't think I was scared of heights. <laughs> oh. We were very high up then, weren't we? Just a bit. Right, let's get going. The sooner we get out of this place, the better. Indeed, and it's very loud and very full of lightning around here. Uh, which way are we get? My mental map of this place is somewhat skewed by the fact that everything is... ...confusing. Well, you're headed in the right direction. Remember how we got there from where you found Arvak's skull? Oh! Somewhat, yes. So, just sort of... Keep moving, basically. Basically. Right. To distract myself from that terrifying... Adventure. Yes, it used to be somewhat the style for... Young Dunma men to try to keep their voices as low as possible resulted in a bit of damage usually and that was the trend and it's still somewhat the trend but in my case it's mostly ash ah I am sorry it does tend to be a side effect of growing up in Morrowind or around Morrowind for that matter Okay, where's the barrier? It is, in fact, down. Ah! Uh. Oh! So, Valyrica's around here somewhere. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. And there you are. Are you able to give us the scroll now? Yes. Please, follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. Wonderful. A dragon? Right, we should be prepared for a dragon. Indeed. Um... Okay. Ooh, that was... Here we go, right. Oh, god, Spilir... She's gone this way. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. Well, I'm glad to be here then, in that case. <sighs> and I certainly couldn't be doing this alone either, so... Thank you, Myth. Any time. And also you, Serana. Of course. No offence, we wouldn't be this mess if not for you. However... Wait. I hear something. It's Dernavir. He's where'd you come from? Um Oh, I heard him. What is he doing? Oh. Well great. Sira, undead. Uh-huh. Lovely. Where? Well for you. Oh gods. Hey Sira, the dragon is undead too. Tough 
Well, this is going to be interesting. I can't tell you to focus on the dragon. Uh-huh. So... In that case, I just... Keep your ears open, basically. Okay. Sorry, Serana. I still remember how to fight. Where? I hear him. Sort of. Land. There he is. Fools? There he isn't. Okay. Ah, uh, of course. I can't reach him from here, can I? I think I can. I hear... more creepy bone things. Gods, hello. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill you. Oh, oh dear. Serana. Oh gods. Myth. What have you got? Where is Myth? Oh dear. Oh no. Where's he gone? Please, please, please don't be dead. Hello. What happened? Well, you killed Donavir. Leading us to the scroll. Ah, uh, oh. Or banished him. I'm not sure what that was. Come on. She's leading us to the scroll. Haha, <laughs> I would, but I don't know where she's gone. Turn around. There you go. That was harrowing. That's a good word for it. Okay. So that was Forgive my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Um I'm not sure he's dead. But what makes you say that? Volumes written on Dernavir alleged that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... No, no, go on. I think I know where you're going with this. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Oh, interesting. And how long do you think that will take? Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. Of course. What are you thinking, Sira? I'm... I'm sort of wondering if that's how... how and why Alduin reappeared suddenly and for no reason. What did you want? I can't believe we found my mother alive. Well, you know what I mean. Is this the Elder Scroll? Hmm. You know, after seeing... seeing and hearing Dexian read one. I'm not sure I like the idea of carrying one around. Uh, oh, Valyrica is somewhere. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. Um, can you help me get my soul back? Our soul's back. So my daughter applied some of the lessons I taught her about necromancy, did she? Don't worry. I think I can help you. Good. We can use all the help we can get. Your soul essence was trapped inside a gem. 
When you and Serana entered the Soul Cairn, it was given to the Ideal Masters as payment. You simply need to retrieve the gem. The moment you touch it, your soul essence will be restored. Any idea where it could be? There's an offering altar not terribly far from here. I'm willing to bet that the gem you're looking for is there. Is there anything else? Could be your last chance. You're staying here? I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the Tyranny of the Sun to fruition. We may never return. After what I've put Serana through, I would understand if she never wished to see me again. I leave that decision in your hands. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. That I can promise. I honestly wasn't expecting that. Come on, let's go home. Right, get our souls on the way. Uh, which way is out? I believe it's to your left. I wonder... What do you wonder? Since both of us were soul trapped, how do we know whose gem is whose? And what happens if we mix them up? Um, we're just going to not think about that, I think. Well, that's wonderful. What is? Well... Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Oh, that. I knew you weren't dead. I didn't... absorb your soul. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. Why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin. Or vanquisher in your tongue. Right. Okay. I found you equally worthy, Denevere. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. Dare I even ask? What kind of favor? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Masters. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. What's stopping you? I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. Okay. And how can I help? I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen. 
your ally, and teach you my thum. Just call your name in Tamriel, that's it. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quenarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Okay. Good to know. We... I hate to cut this chat short, but we sort of have business to deal with. Huh. Cyrillata Quenarin. I like it. The sooner we get the scroll home, the sooner we deal with my father. Mm-hmm. Right, we're going. We are going... somewhere... to find the soul gems. Where? Uh... Um... If I had any idea. I'm going to just go on instinct in this case and sort of follow my gut. There was a place that I saw. Yes? I think we found it. Oh, okay. Uh, what sort of place is it? Well, there's a big weird gem floating over it, so I'm sort of assuming that that's the place we're supposed to be going. Potentially. I'm not sure. I don't... Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh, lovely. I feel like it's this way. I'm actually going to trust your gut on this one. Oh, that was just one of those little things. Uh-huh. Hand on the wall. That's how we do this, right? Hello. Uh-huh. And on the wall. Uh... Like this? Hello. I heard that. Bars. Where have Myth and Saronic gone? Heard someone. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Just keep on moving. Until we find somewhere. Oh, that works. I'm alone up here. Great. Um. Okay. Yes, indeed. All right. That's the way we're going. Whew, we're going to be speedy about this. <laughs> Oh, I may regret this. Okay. Myth? Serana? 
There you are. Success. Um. Oh. Where'd you come from? Well, now I'm full strength again. Uh huh. We take care of a few of these things and then we leave. I would have it no other way. Any more? I don't think so. Um, away is the other way. Oh, that way, right? This. which way? The way you're facing now. Fantastic! Let's get out of this place. Oh, it feels even worse. Now that... Ugh. Oh, I don't like that. Nope, I don't either. What were you about to say? Hmm? Oh, I wasn't going to say anything. No, um... Nope. Not a thing.